Hello, hello, hello. I'm just joking. It's Mr. MG Fan 101 here, and I'm doing some more live commentary on Crossfire. Yeah, guys, I said I was gonna end it off at one for this night, but you know, I kind of wanted to finish what I was saying in the last video, so yeah, I'm gonna finish what I was saying. And if I can remember, right, I remember definitely the win-loss ratio. Even though I like to keep my KD ratio at two, which the thing is, I usually don't have to worry about that. It usually is at two, anyways. Um, all I really care about in this game, in these games, is my win-loss. I like keeping my win-loss ratio high. Kind of tough to do in escape mode, considering it's unbalanced in the sense of how you can win or lose a game. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I don't know if you do. I might want to explain it. I'll explain it. Um, is in escape mode, basically what I'm saying is there should be three rounds in an escape mode game. If a team, if the team who's playing as attackers win as attackers, then lose as defenders, there should be another round. And there isn't, and it's really unbalanced. Basically what I mean is, the attackers can win, then they can lose as defenders, then the defenders win the match. Retarded. Or maybe it's scored that if you win the round, that counts as a win as a match. I don't know, you guys tell me how that win-loss works for escape mode, because it's, it's crazy. How did that spot go from there to there? What the crap? Spops are all powerful, I'm not gonna doubt their ways. <laughs> Ten bucks to someone who can get that reference. Oh, he's trying to destroy that gate, I'm not gonna let him. You know, I could... Ooh, Scarlight, I'm killing him. U ultra kill, holy crap. I should really reload my reload my M 12 us. But yeah, guys, I really like caring for the um, win-loss ratio, because in my opinion, winning a game is a lot better than having, in the long run... Wow, that guy got really lucky. Than having, um... You know, just having a good game with a good KD, you know... It's just... Winning just feels more awesome, it seems. And then if you have both of them in the same package, then it feels even more awesome. But yeah, um, what you saw a little while ago, why I died from that guy, even though I had his, I had the advantage, you know, I caught him from behind. The reason I died by him is because this is the thing I like, I th do in a lot of FPS games. I think my accuracy is perfect. I think I pump enough shots in him. That should be enough shots, you know. I just stop shooting. I, I go to reload. And then it ends up that it wasn't enough shots. That happens way too much in the FPSs when I play them. And this game is way too short. Holy crap. I mean, this defense um, match is way too short. I mean, whoa, did you just see that guy, like, lunge from there to there? Holy crap, that guy's got commando on. What the? I didn't know there was commando in uh, Crossfire. But, uh, yeah, I, I like to go for the win-loss, and I, I've even gotten a lot of my friends into going for the win-loss instead of the KD. And especially Killer1105. Uh, yeah, you guys can send that. Um, if you guys want to be a very nice person, send a friend request to Killer, uh, K-I-L-L, -L, this is all in capitals, 3R1105. If you want, if you guys want to make me happy, send a friend request to him, cause, uh, it'll, it'll make me happy, it'll make me happy. Trust me, it will. <laughs> and you will probably feel good about yourself. You won't know why you're feeling good about yourself, but you will. Just trust me. Just send him a friend request. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so. Uh, what are the topics to talk about? I could talk about Black Ops, but after talking about it in the last video, I don't want to talk about it again. Uh, because I don't really feel like talking about Black Ops. I don't know why. I just don't feel like doing, doing it. You know, Call of Duty is getting... Okay, first of all, it's not the greatest game in the world like a lot of people think it is. And second of all, it's getting a lot less good as the games progress. Like, it went from COD 4 to COD 5 to, you know, COD 4 to... Basically, COD 2, then COD 3, then COD 4, then COD 5, then COD 6. Now, let's think about... There's a little bit of a pattern in this. COD 2, great. COD 3, not that great. COD uh, 4, pretty good, pretty good, great. I wouldn't say it's great, but COD 4 is pretty good. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree me, disagree with me on that. I know a lot of people are going to be like, COD 4 was like the best game ever, Zors. What are you talking about? But uh, I don't really think it was the best game ever like a lot of people think it is. But let's go on. COD 5. 
it had Nazi zombies, um, but if you count the multiplayer, I, I thought the multiplayer was good, but overall, it was average. MW2, carp. And by carp, I mean crap. Crap. Modern Warfare 2 was... Okay. Modern Warfare 2 wasn't complete crap, though. I mean, when you were playing in a fair lobby, and by a fair lobby... I mean, no commando lunjars, no ACRs, no noob tubes, and this is a rare occasion. Game's a good game, you know, it it really is. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's pretty average in my opinion when you get into a good lobby. The campaign was decent. I don't think they do the campaign as well. I don't think Infinity Ward has ever done the campaign as well as Treyarch or Medal of Honor. Danger Close. And by Danger Close, I'm referencing the company, not the perk, grr. Um, I don't think Infinity Ward's ever done a campaign as good as Treyarch or Danger Close. I really don't. I think they do campaign a lot better than Infinity Ward. But, you know, my for 2 campaign was pretty decent. And it left you off with a quill finger. That's a good thing. But then we come to Black Ops. So if we follow the pattern, Black Ops will be... Whoa! That guy just popped out in front of my screen. <laughs> But if we follow the pattern here, Black Ops will be a good and or great game. But this is just a luck pattern. This is just superstition. What am I talking about? I'm a crazy person. You know, it's just superstition. This is this is just a pattern I've noticed between the COD games. And freaking game's gonna end. I'll talk about this in the live commentary. I'll see you guys later.